Here we have the Hot Wheels Light Speeders Light Brush Lab. It utilizes uh, light technology to decorate the cars. Before I get started on this uh, Light Speeders Light Brush Lab, I want to go ahead and talk about the cars real quick so you have an understanding as to what this product is about. You can also get these single cars. Here's a couple of the singles. They also had a special Easter edition. You see here, only at Easter edition, you know the cars were the same exact cars as the one in the uh, regular lineup. So don't think that you have to go get these because they were exclusive. They were not. Same cars. They were in these packages as well. The kids are probably familiar with the colored shifters line. The color shifters change colors with temperature, uh, hot or cold uh, water in particular, but still uh, room temperature will change them as well. These change color on the surface with uh, these little uh, light emitting devices. See how I put that little spot on the car? Let's go ahead and open up some of these and we'll uh, do a little demonstration real quick. Whereas the Light Brush Lab uses three AAA batteries, these little things come with these little button cell batteries. And that's what causes, uh, that's what charges the light. So here's the car. Now the car is treated with a special, uh, on the surface, has a special treatment. And then when you go like this to the car, the light changes the color of the treatment on the car. See that? Now the instructions say to keep this out of the sun. Let me show you this little video that I did if you put it in the sun. Did you see how quickly it changed? If you wait about three minutes, it'll change back to its regular color. But it says in the instructions that you can damage the car. So as you can see here, I have two cars, same exact car, and one of these cars I left in the sun for three days. See what happens? It ruined its ability to change colors. Nothing. As you can see, it's, this one has not been left in the sun. This one on the left, I left in the sun for three days. Gone. No longer can change colors. At least the car's not ruined. Still looks great, but it lost its color changing ability. Inside each package comes a stencil. You can see right here with the uh, highway hauler, you got your stencil right here. And so what you do, you use the stencils to hold over the car. And then you could put little designs on there. Let me go ahead and do the uh, 38. It's nice to have a... Uh, well, let's do... Okay, 38. And here's why I wanted to check out the Light Brush Lab. Sometimes it's kind of hard to hold this little stencil against the side of the car. If it moves around, your design's not going to come out too good on the car. But if you look over my hand... The stencil has a little holder in that playset. It's got a little holder. I wonder if that's going to make it easier to put the designs on the car. See? Eh, that's okay. It's not that great. I don't know if it's just because I'm no good. Or is it just because it's hard to hold it flat against the car. So I use these loose cars to give you an idea what's our, what's available in the singles. And now let's go ahead and open up the uh, Light Brush Lab. And let's check out this. I just realized after taking everything out of the box, the box is mostly hollow. It's just this little thing right here. Let's get it uh, put together. I think I forgot to mention, uh, this is under $30. I actually think it's closer to $25. So I'm, gonna, I'm curious to see, even though it's small, is the added features Features worth the uh, added cost. Let's see what else we got here. Here on the side, you got a little notch. So you got a little notch right there. Pop, pop right on. Let's see, where's my line? A 
Look, it's just like uh, an old uh, jukebox. All right, kids, I know you, you don't know what I'm talking about. That's your dad. Got our little 45s. And then here on the side, we got these little attachments. You pop it right onto the front of your your uh, uh, paint gun or whatever you want to call it, your light gun. And then you could put the designs. Check this one out. Got a little star. So you take it like this, pop it right on. And then you could uh, make a little star design on the side of the card. That works pretty good. Just in case you're curious, there's the uh, blue one. Got a nice uh, dragon right there. Some tribal flames. Let's see the red one. Hey, Team Hot Wheels. Got some nice flames at the top. Interesting lines. And last one's yellow. Oh, you're going to like yellow. I'm sure. Got some skulls for you guys that like skulls. Trying to read what it says on the top one there. No. Can't read it. Speed. I think it says Speed Demon. And I can't get... There we go. Speed Demon. That's what it says. Speed Demon. And there's the rest. I like the skulls the most though. This flaming head's pretty cool too. Now I didn't attach this yet. This is going to go right here. And uh, the reason I didn't attach it is so you can see how this works. You got this little circle. This circle is going to hold on to your disc right here or your stencil. And that's how you're going to push it against the car. And this is kind of interesting. It's kind of a little bit of rubbery. Yeah, this is rubbery too. Same thing. Anyways, let me go ahead and put it together. And let's get a, let's get a car up on a rack. At first... I thought the rack's a little small for the Hummer. It doesn't even fit. The car's wider. And then I realized, hey, this is adjustable. Check it out. This goes out. And that's, you're going to put your car's uh, wheels right in between there. And that's going to hold your car in place. And remember, that's what I was saying was part of the problem when you were trying to do it with this. You know, it's hard to keep everything in place. So the car's locked in. The stencil's locked in. Huh, this thing's got potential. Let's go ahead and get this uh, in the spot. I'm going to put some uh, skulls. Look how it's sitting right up against there. Now, where's my gun? Here we have the, uh, and the sounds are pretty cool, cool. Not only did you have a sound, and each time you do this, it does a different sound, but up here it's kind of got this neat little light display. Kids are going to love that. Okay, me too. But. Let's see what that did. Schools. Schools, look out. Now let's try a little bit of a harder spot. This is at an angle. This was easy. It's a nice flat top. The back is a little bit of an angle. Let's go ahead and uh, try something. Uh, try to do that over there. No, it's not going to reach. Let me lift it up. Come across. Nah, I don't like that. Let's see if we can get a better angle. Turn this around. Let me put this this way. I'm going to keep knocking these things out. So They're nice to uh, use to store it when you're not using it. But I think when you're uh, doing, when you're actually doing your designing, it's not very beneficial. Let me see. I guess that's about as good as we're going to get as far as angles are going to go. Hmm. It's too far. Maybe I should try something different. How about a Hot Wheels logo? Here we go.
Okay, let's check it out. Hot Wheels. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Kind of fun to uh, play around with, get to decorate your cars. And you know what? After a few minutes, it fades away, and they can do whatever they want. Let's go ahead and try. Uh, no, let's try some of these other attachments. Here we got like I don't know what this is. Uh, oh, checker flag. Let's see. Eh, he's not much of a racer. We're not gonna put the checkered flag on him. Let's go ahead and put the checkered flag on this guy, the Subaru Impreza. Got him in place. Here we go. Let's put checker flag on the side, of course. Let me make sure I got my tip the way I want it. Okay, I got the tip where I want it. Got the checker flag. Let's give me a checker flag design on the side. I'm gonna hold it in the spot. Really easy. See the dots? Let's see, what was the other uh, tip? I showed you the star already. And the last one, oh, of course, the uh, Hot Wheels logo. Gee, do you got any impression they uh, like to brand their merchandise? Just kidding. Real fast. Put a little swoosh on there. Let's see. Now another thing I want to do is let's test the comparison between these, which came with the cars, and they have that little three button cells, and these have three AA batteries. So let's do a time test to see what, uh, how long, if, if this is faster because it's got three big batteries. Okay, here we go. Same car. Except one we're going to use this, and then the other one we're going to use the gun. And should we use a tip or not? Let's see. No, nah, we're just going to have a simple light. This way it's a fair comparison. Here we go. Let's do uh, five seconds. It's comparable. One's no better than the other. Maybe if I do it a little shorter, there'll be a little difference. Let's see. Not comparable. So even though this uses three AAA batteries, let me look at that, make sure before I get it messed up. Three AAA batteries, and this uses the little ones. Uh, they're about the same, but you gotta admit, the sounds are fun and the lights fun. So there you go, Light Speeder Lab, 25 bucks. I think it's worth it. It's kind of fun to have a little assembly for your guy to play with. Um, you get the three round stencils. You get something that's easier to work with. I had trouble because I was trying to do it on a uh, surface like this. Well, uh, let's be fair. Actually, before, let me try. A, let me try to do the side. Nope, can't do the sides. That's uh, you could basically just do the top. So it makes it easier to do the top, but it's not very functional. Maybe if I put it right there, let's see. Nope. Well, maybe. Got to get it right up against there. Okay, not, not uh, fantastic, but uh, so is it worth the $25? Well, you know, the gun's kind of cool. I'm not sure that this is that, that beneficial to uh, helping you do it. You got a little play area. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. Got a little driveway. 
but uh, this gun is basically the key thing that makes it a lot funner. You got the, the lights, you got the sounds, so you'll have to make the decision on your own if it's worth it. I'm sure a lot of these are really just going to be given as gifts to the kids anyways. And looking at the uh, box again, it shows it with the red decorations. That's not possible but at all. None of these cars change red. All of them change blue. I don't know. I don't know where they're getting that red. Where's the Hummer? I didn't. I didn't show the uh, highway hauler. I don't think. Let's see. Blue, blue. Where's a chicane? Didn't I have a chicane? Where'd he go? Who's this? Is this chicane? Yeah, chicane. Here we go. Let's try chicane. Blue. So that's that's definitely misleading. You definitely cannot make it red. But uh, anyways, take care. Bye bye.